Hi guys, this is Danny for the Rock Phone Company. So the Rock Phone Company sent me uh, this uh, new number one Rock Phone. It's the entry level of the brand. It's called the M2. It's a quad core CPU with a five inch uh, screen and it's uh, run under Android 4.4.4. So let's check the case of the mobile. So it's uh, available I think in, uh, in two colors, so this is obviously the black one. Uh, it's fully in, uh, in plastic and it's um, a soft plastic all around except here on the, on the frame. So the frame is made of hard plastic but all the rest of the smartphone is made of uh, soft plastic so if it falls down it, uh, it will not break you should have only small marks on the on the case and uh, it's fully uh, waterproofed the case is uh, sealed with many screws here all around uh, you don't have access to the battery you just have access to the sim card compartment compartment sorry and uh, the memory card compartment on the side here you have the power button and it's written uh, the fourth generation here down it's written uh, IP68 so it's uh, submersible IP68 it's also H20 submersible and here you have the rocket volume button plus and minus and on the top You have the UB, uh, USB V2 and the audio jack. And uh, as you can see, it's very uh, well made and it's really waterproof uh, here. On the back, so you have the camera, 8 megapixel camera with a single LED flash, the speaker, and uh, Again, it's written H20 Submersible, and you have uh, the brand here, number one, and it's written again IP68. Uh, in front here, you have the webcam, you have the proximity and light sensor, and you have the three Android uh, button. So uh, this one is a menu. Home and return. The phone comes in this box. It's a simple box. And inside you have the charger, ACDC charger in uh, 1000 milliamps with a cable. And actually as you can see it's a long mail plug here. comes with a manual, it's about 17 pages, it comes with a, a second screen protection, you have uh, one here on the screen that comes uh, from the factory and you have this uh, multi-purpose tool the first purpose of the tool is to be able to open this compartment for the, the battery compartment. So I will open it for you. So this is a hard plastic, the screws that don't fall down when you open it. And inside you can see you have the first full size seam here down and you have uh, a second one it's a micro sim card and this is a memory card so micro sd uh, memory card
Let's look at the size of the screen. So we said it's 5 inch. It's actually not 5 inch, it's 4.5. I was wrong. So it's a 4.5 screen diagonal. Okay, let's look at the app. So we have the phone book messaging on to two. Let's see how fast it is. It scores 18,656, which is an average score for a quad core a CPU phone. And let's look here at the details of the score. For the 3D graphics, it's 3500, and we can see it's a QHD screen. For the info, so the brand is number one, model is M2, it runs Android 4.4.4, .4 CPU, so it's a MediaTek MT6582 which is a 32-bit CPU. It's not the latest uh, CPU from MediaTek. It has a Mali 400 uh, QHD screen, 540 times 960. Yeah, rear camera is not an 8, uh, as I thought. It's a 13 megapixel. Email are in 35. It's 1 gig of RAM. So it's 4 times 1.3 GHz. Screen is uh, 240 dpi and it's a uh, 5 point screen. NFC is not supported. And uh, for sensor, you got the acceleration, light, e compass, proximity, but you don't have the temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor on this phone. You have the calendar, you have the calculator, you have the clock with the different function uh, alarms. You can have word time. You can have countdown and chronometers. To do browser, let's put some uh, Wi Fi on. Okay, Wi Fi is on. So let's go to the shop that sent us this phone, so you can uh, find this phone and buy this phone on the shop. And uh, let's see if we can find the, the price. M2. No, so smartphone, let's go into manufacturer. Three products. And uh, this is the M2, so it's a quite cheap phone according to the spec and the fact that it's uh, IP68 and it's, uh, it looks very well built and compared to the other model of the, of the brand, you see there is a huge difference in, uh, in price, so it seems to be a very good deal. Let's now 
so you have a second browser you have Chrome also installed let's uh, listen for music to check if the speaker is good It's loud and not bad for the sound with uh, a lot of bass radio, you can have the radio but you need to plug in the earphone you have Facebook pre-install SIM toolkit, email download galleries It's a, it's a nice screen with a good angle of vision, it's an IPS screen. And it's, uh, it's fast. You got a sound recorder, you got the file manager. The phone is a 8 gigabyte, uh, gigabit uh, space phone and you still have 5.04 uh, and you can add uh, up to uh, 64 uh, gigabit uh, memory card. Camera. There is a small Tutorial the first time you use a phone. You can get the GPS localization info and uh, it's a 13 megapixel camera. Webcam. is 5 megapixel and you can shoot or record some uh, some films automatic flash face beauty mode and you have a lot of function to uh, to play with you have Gmail, pre-install, Google, Google settings, GPS data. Let's look like, let's look now how the GPS ships is working. As you can see, the M2 can uh, see a lot of satellites. But the, for the first fix, it takes about uh, 20 minutes, so it's uh, quite long. But uh, after the first fix, it's very quick. Then you have Google map Nova 3 we're gonna play to the games later you have the phone interface of course the original Google Play Store where you can uh, install new apps new games download music download the films and so on settings Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, audio profile, display. So now we run at uh, full, so full uh, brightness because it's quite uh, sunny day today. Apps. So we have installed a few apps already. And we still have uh, 579 megabit free, so it's it's not a lot, but uh, you will be able to install most of the app you want. Uh, then you will be full. But uh, basically, it's not a phone where you can install, I think, more than 20, 25 uh, different apps. Localization. So when we tested the GPS chips, it's only the chips, huh? you don't have the 
Wi-Fi, the 3G, uh, it has a real GPS ships inside, completely autonome. Languages. Many languages. Wireless printing. And it's a real Android 4.4.4 KitKat. The button here is a vibrate. Videos. Let's look at some uh, full HD videos. This is a MKV. No problem for uh, 1080p MKV. Let's look at uh, so 4K doesn't work. Let's look at uh, AVI. AVI is okay. Now MP4 MP4 Full HD is also okay FLV FLV is working and uh, VWM is working but you don't have the audio track but you can download on the Play Store any uh, video player and it will play the sound. It's just the original Google player doesn't play Microsoft uh, files. Temps collection, you can change the, the, the theme, you can change the wallpaper You have live wallpapers, many of them. Well, a lot to play with. Voice search. Restaurant. Here are the listings for restaurants. It works. Wi Fi analyzer. Our um, hotspot is on the other floor, and average here is about 74, 70, 74. And we are now running 72, which is better, 71 now. So the Wi-Fi is good. It's uh, better than average of the phone we test. And you have YouTube. You want to kill app, you just push this button and you can kill all the apps that are still in memory. Let's now play some game. And Pro Video is played well.
So Nova 3 is a, is a big game. They shut me down, but uh, the game the game play very well, and it's a quite heavy game, and it's a very recent game. So um, Plato, I think it's quite impressive for this rug phone, for this price, to be able to play this kind of games. Let's kill it down and play real racing. Okay, now we all done. So it's, uh, we are on a Porsche GT3 RS. Accelerometer is not working very well here, the car is really vibrating. I should check where I can uh, set up the accelerometer because it's not very easy to play like that. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's fast. So let's stop here. But uh, so the accelerometer for uh, Real Racing 3 is not uh, fully working with the game. So the conclusion on the phone is, uh, besides this uh, small bug with the accelerometer, all is working uh, perfectly, is uh, fast enough with a 4-core MediaTek uh, CPU. It, um, it's also a quite thin and light phone. As you can see, it's not as thick as a regular rugged phone and uh, it's uh, lighter than other regular red phone but uh, it feels 
as strong as the other rug phone. It's built in the same uh, plastic, same material. It has a Gorilla Glass also uh, screen. And it's, uh, it's strong, it doesn't feel weak in uh, any part of the, of the phone. And I think for the price, uh, it's sold by uh, M1, it's quite a good, uh, a good deal. So see you soon for uh, additional review and you can buy this phone uh, on the Rug Phone Company shop and you find the uh, URL just here on the screen. See you, bye bye.